All right, so I'm going to run through a couple different examples of variation uh, problems. First one here is a basic one, y varies directly as x. Um, gives you some information about y and x, as y is 45 when x is 5, and then we have to find y when x is 13. Well, whenever you see a direct variation problem, or inverse variation, but we'll go with direct here, you start out with writing the general formula out. The general formula, y varies directly as x, is the formula y equals kx. So there are three things that we don't know, y, k, and x. We do know that k will be constant. Okay. okay. Once we find k, it's going to be the same throughout the problem. Now the second line gives us some information about y and x. The second line says that y is 45 when x is 5. Well, we don't know k, but we know y and x. Okay, so I just plug in my two values, 45 and 5. Um, the only thing I have left is k, so let's solve for k. Let's figure out what that is. If I divide both sides by 5 here, then you're going to have 9 is equal to k. All right, so that is our... Um, that is our constant, and that's going to stay constant throughout the problem. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jump to the second part of this, or the, I'm sorry, the third sentence. It says find y when x is 13. So we're going to use this 9 as a fixed value and plug it in for k. So we get y equals 9 times x. Okay, y equals 9 times x. And then, so everything works off of this new equation. Now we just know what k is. Then it says find y when x is 13. So we're going to plug in the 13. y equals 9 times 13. And of course, 9 times 13 is 117. So y is equal to 117. That is the answer. That's the number that is equal to y when x is 13. Okay. Uh, the next equa or the next formula uh, or problem that we're going to deal with is this one here. Similar, but now it's an inverse variation. So we're going to set it up. Um, y varies inversely as x, that just means y is equal to a constant divided by x. Okay, so it's a division instead of a multiplication. Alright, so now we're going to use the values that are given. We're going to say 6 is equal to our constant over, now x is 3. So we use the values given. And to solve for k this time, I've got to multiply both sides by that 3. So I'm going to multiply by 3, multiply by 3, that cancels the denominator out. And I'm going to be left with 18 equals k. Alright, so if 18 is our constant, we plug that back in. And we would have uh, y is equal to... 18 divided by x, so 18 goes in for k, and then we can jump down to this last line, y, find y when x is 9, so we plug the x value of 9 in, y equals 18 divided by 9, and of course 18 divided by 9 is 2, that is our answer for this one. Okay, so the main idea is you set up your equation, then you find k, and then you use k to find y. Okay, that's our main steps there. Final example. Um, this one's a bit longer, and it includes many more variables. 
says y varies jointly as m and the square of n. So jointly is a direct variation with more than one thing. And inversely as p. That sounds kind of crazy and complicated, but let me explain. There's both a direct variation and an inverse variation in the same equation. So we're going to start with our y value, and then we're just going to set up the equation. Um, again, it's k. We need the constant. It varies jointly with m and the square of n, so that's a direct variation. So we multiply there m, and the square of n is n squared. But then it varies inversely as p, so we have to divide by the p. All right. So now we go through and solve. We need to find k, and they give us all the other variables. All right. So we're just going to plug that stuff in. 15 equals k times 2 times 1 squared all over 6. m is 2, n is 1, p is 6. Then we simplify, so we get 15 is equal to, I'll move this up, uh, k, let's see, this is going to be 2k over 6, or really that's the same as k over 3, right, if I reduce that down. And so to solve that, we can multiply both sides by 3. The threes will cancel on the right. We're left with 45 is equal to k. So k is our value of 45. Now I go back and substitute that k back in. So I get y equals 45 times mn squared over p. And then the final line says find y when m is 3, n is 4, and p is 10. So we just plug those three values in. 45 times 3 times 4 squared all over 10. Got some multiplying to do, right? So we have 45 times 3 times 16 all over 10. Uh, 45 times 3 should be 1, um, 35. So that's 135 times 16 over 10. And if I finish that off, 135 times 16 is uh, 2,160 over 10. Divide that out and you get 2,000, or I'm sorry, 216 as a final answer. All right. All right, so that gives you an example of each of the different types of variation that you'll see um, and the different types of problems you'll see in this section.